Let's say we have a differentiable function f and we have some real number alpha. Let's find, let's make two different functions from those two pieces of data. First, f composed with x to the power of alpha, and then the other one, f of x to the power of alpha. Now, notice the difference between these two. If I'm given a value of x here, I first raise it to the power of alpha, get an answer, and then do f of that number. Whereas over here, if I'm given a value of x, I first do f of x, and then raise that answer to the power of alpha. So those are different, these are definitely different functions. And let's just find the derivative of each of them. It's not going to be very hard, really. Uh, first of all, don't let alpha scare you. It's a Greek letter, you know, but who cares? It's just uh, some constant, okay? If you want, you could maybe pretend alpha is like 4 or something, some just some specific number. So let's see how this goes. Uh, why don't I, I'll do the first one over here and then the other one over here. So for this one, what is dy dx? Well, on this function, the outermost function is the f, right? And then this x to the alpha is the inner function. So it's going to be f prime of the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. That's just chain rule, right? And then I fill those in. So that's coming along. And the derivative of x to the alpha is easy. It's just power rule, right? Maybe we're used to writing it the derivative of x to the n, right? What's the derivative of x to the n? It's n x to the n minus 1. Just because we're using a, a different letter other than n, it doesn't, doesn't change anything. So the alpha comes to the front, x to the alpha minus 1. And that's all we're looking for there. How about over here? Well, on this one, Whereas over here, f was the outermost function, this time alpha is the outermost function, exponentiation by alpha. So we're going to have to do that first. The alpha is going to come to the front. We're ignoring the f of x to the alpha minus 1 times the derivative of what we're ignoring, right? What are we ignoring? Well, f of x. Now, we're actually done here. You know, f of x in brackets with a prime is just the same as f prime of x. So I'll just rewrite that. And uh, maybe I don't even need these sets of brackets here anymore either. And uh, I guess maybe on this one I could clean it up just a little bit. This one's done, by the way. That's all we have to do there. Why don't I just write the... Well, I think it looks a little bit... Just to get rid of these brackets, we always like to get rid of brackets as much as possible. I'll write that in front, and then f prime x to the alpha there. So... There's our two answers for this question.